Welcome back and thanks for joining me today. So today we are going to look at the trombone. The trombone is part of the brass family and we're going to learn a little bit more about that today. Just like the other two brass instruments we've already talked about, the trumpet and the euphonium, um, the trombone has a very similar mouthpiece and it looks like this. Now, the difference between a trumpet and a trombone mouthpiece is basically size. Uh, there are some shape things to it as well, but the most obvious difference is the size. So the size of a trumpet mouthpiece is smaller. The smaller the mouthpiece, the higher the pitch. The bigger the mouthpiece, the lower the pitch. And that's important. You're gonna blow into it similarly that you would a trumpet. You're gonna buzz and it's gonna sound something like this. Very nice, elegant sound out of that <laughs> mouthpiece. All right, so the next thing I'm gonna show you is I'm gonna put it together, okay? So I'm gonna start by taking out the bell of the trombone, and it's a nice looking instrument, by the way. Nice big, nice big bell. And that's your first part, okay? The second thing that you're gonna take out is the slide. Now, the slide is a tricky thing, and I'm gonna explain why. Make sure that when you're pulling out your slide, that it is locked. What does that even mean? Your slide has a lock on it. That lock keeps the slide in place. If the slide is unlocked, then when you move it down like this, gravity is gonna do its work. Your slide is gonna fall right off and hit the ground. And then you could dent it or break it and then it's gonna maybe need repair and that's no good. Um, so when you take your slide out, make sure it's locked and the lock is found here at the top. It's not gonna look the exact same, trombones differ, but it's generally up here. And watch, it's locked now, so I'm pulling it. Nothing, it's not going anywhere. So my lock is on, triple check that, you don't want it to fall. Once you've got your lock on, you're gonna put it in the only hole that you have on your trombone, gonna slide it on, and then you've got this little turning device here, very technical language by the way, and you're going to just turn it as tightly as you can and lock it into place. If you do not have a nice tight seal on that, when you're moving the, the slide and playing your instrument, your trombone, it's gonna kind of flop all over the place and it's gonna make it really hard to play. So make sure when you tighten it, you really tighten it well. Because now, when I move it, it's not gonna go anywhere, okay? So I've got my slide on, I've got my bell on, I'm going to finish by putting my mouthpiece on. And what's really great about this is there's no wondering where the pieces go because there's only one spot for it to go, which is right here. I'm gonna twist it just to kind of make sure it's in there. And now my trombone is together. This is what a trombone looks like when it's all put together. Pretty cool, hey? It's a nice looking instrument. So now I've got my trombone in my hands. And with my left hand, I've kind of got a weird grip on it, and I'll try to show you that. What I've done is I take my thumb, and I wrap it around this bar, and then I wrap my other three fingers kind of in that little middle part, and then my top finger, I've got sitting right there. So I can hold it right now on my left hand, and it's not going anywhere because it's really well put in place. And then, well, your right hand, that's really simple. You just hold onto the slide and that will move your slide. My slide is still locked. So, now that I've put my trombone together, I'm gonna to tell you a little bit more about it. So, how is a trombone different from a trumpet or a euphonium? Well, the main difference here is the slide. If you remember the trumpet and the euphonium, they had valves that you push down with your fingers. But as you can see here, there are no valves to be found on this trombone. Um, all you have is a slide, and that's really the, the biggest difference. So when you want to get a sound out of your trombone, you have to move your slide. So that's the biggest thing that you should know about the trombone as I try to lock it. There we go. So some interesting facts about the trombone. Um, the trombone actually means, like the, the, the name means large trumpet. And during the Renaissance period, 
it wasn't even called the trombone. It was called the sack butt, right? Very elegant name. It was called the sack butt. And it looked like this. Very similar to the trombone that you see in front, but a couple just little differences. As, as time went on, they, they improved it and made little tweaks on it. And now today it's the trombone that you know and love. Um, one thing that I forgot to mention about putting the slide on, there's a really nifty little button here, okay? Still locked, I am still locked. <laughs> I, we've got a really nifty little button and it has to point down. Why? This button is called the condensation key or as other people so lovingly call it, the spit valve. So what happens when you play the trombone, you're blowing air into it, which produces condensation. And as that condensation builds up and you continue to play, you're gonna find that your trombone starts to sound like a fish. And it, it starts to, to make bubble sounds. Um, that's a good indication that you need to empty the condensation out of your trombone. So what you do is you just press this little button to open it up and you blow a little air through it. Nothing big, nothing fancy, just a little bit of air, and you'll notice that the condensation will just leak right out. Now, be wary about where you empty it, because if you keep it right above your foot, then you'll empty it over your foot. Don't empty it on your neighbor or anybody else, because that no one really wants your condensation. That's for you and you alone. So the reason why it's pointed down is because if you had it pointed up here, well, the condensation isn't going to go to the top here. It's going to sit here at the bottom. So if you have it up there, it's useless. So when you put your slide on, if you're not sure what direction to put it on, this nifty little condensation key here <laughs> needs to be facing down. Okay. All right. So we've looked at how to put it together and I played a little bit for you. I'm going to play just a bit of a scale for you. Um, not the whole thing. Disclaimer. I am also not a gifted trombone player, okay? So <laughs> keep that in mind as you listen to the beautiful sound of the trombone. Here we go. lots of cool little passages. You can see trombones in orchestras, you can see them in concert bands, marching bands. I gotta say it's probably the coolest instrument to watch play. So although I did not do a wonderful job today playing it for you, I promise you if you pick the trombone you are going to have a blast playing it. Thank you so much for joining me today. I look forward to seeing you in another video. Have a great day guys. Stay safe. Bye!